YouTube, how are we doing? We are on the road to 600 subscribers. Once we get there, we're gonna win a million coins. So definitely subscribe to the channel. You will be entered in that giveaway. But guys, we made a Cowboys theme team now. I know what you guys are thinking. Dude, you had a Cowboys theme team all year, blah, 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 blah. Well, I decided to make a team with only Cowboys. Literally only Cowboys. And this is the best, the absolute best possible Cowboys theme team you can have. So if you're looking for a tutorial, you know, how, what, how, what's the best team I can get? What? This is your video. So we're going to start off with the offense, which is insane. Look at our offensive line. There's only two players on our offense that aren't 99 overall. That is a center and CD Lamb, and there's 98. They're both 98. So we're gonna start with this man. So he got a draft card, it's only 96, but with all the chemistries I got, bro, check out his stats. I'm not gonna be annoying. I, I feel like it's annoying when people make the videos and they, I actually used to do it, but like you go through every stat, like you guys have eyes, you guys can see, so I'll leave it there for a second, you know, whatever. Crazy stats. Next, we got Larry Allen, 99. He's a 96, he goes to a 99 as well. See his stats, you can pause it if you wanna look at him. That is insane, Larry Allen. Then we got Tyler Bietes. For some reason, he's a 97, I think, powered up, or 96 powered up. He only has to 98, which sucks, but it is what it is, it's not a big deal. But yeah, Zach Martin next, and this dude's only a 97, and he goes to 99, which is huge. Look at all those 99s, cracked, like literally insane. And then we got Lau Collins, 99 overall. He's a, a 96, I think. 97 powered up, and he gets all these crazy stats. All of these linemen, they all don't block, so it literally doesn't matter. Next, we got Mike Dicka, who plays like shit for me, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie, he has everything he needs here. He's fast, he just... I don't know what it is, guys. He's just not good. He's just, he doesn't do it for me. Vernon Davis was so good. I think that's why. Next, we got Michael Irvin. Now, I have no wide receiver strat cards. All my strat cards go to my O-line. So, if you're wondering, that's why. That's why we don't, you know, we don't have, like, any boost to our receivers. But we do have speed just for the Cowboys. But, yeah, 99 speed for Michael Irvin. Next, we have Jimmy Smith, which is super cracked. 99 speed. This card, he's all right. I'm not gonna lie. Six fun. He's not the greatest, but he plays pretty good. Gold 99, so definitely really cracked. Next, we got 99 overall. Zeke Elliott, he's cracked. 97 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility. This card is very, very, very good. And I, I told you guys a while back that he had a spinning problem where he couldn't really spin. That's not, that is not the case. I think they like fixed him or something, but yeah. So next, we got Pollard. He's our backup running back. He's a 98. Uh, 98 speed. He's actually kind of better than Zeke just because he's faster and he has better spin and juke and all that. But I don't know. They're both really good. And next we got Dak Prescott, the GOAT, gold 99. Uh, this card, uh, guys, I I'm not going to lie. His throw under pressure is 95, but I've never used the quarterback this year that literally misses throws as much as him when he's under pressure. So I don't know if I'd suggest getting Dak Prescott, but he does give you boost. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. He also gives you boost to the team. So, as you can see here, um, right here, Madden Motors, wide receiver, O-line, and running back, carrying impact, blah, 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 spec catch, all that kind of stuff. So, he gives your guys some extra boost. Not the worst thing you've ever seen. Next, we got Fred Muth. Um, this card can't spin, which is unfortunate. If this card could spin, he'd be a better fullback, but it is what it is. 95 speed. He's all right. He's not bad. I just kind of have him there for a fullback, nothing serious. Next, we got CeeDee Lamb. He gets no boost to his overall for some reason, but he's cracked. 99 speed. I took off the strat cards because he really doesn't need him. He has 99 speed. So, dude's cracked. CeeDee Lamb, nasty card, nasty card. You can get him for free by doing the solos, by the way. So, definitely consider going doing that. Next, we got the defense. Now, we got Taylor Mays. This card's not very good. I'm not gonna lie. If he wasn't so tall, I probably wouldn't run him, but he's only got 98 speed, which kind of sucks, but it's the best free safety we can get, so it's kind of just who we had to use. Next, we got Demarcus Ware. Now, this card is just, he shits on people. I, just, I can't even lie to you. This card is so nasty. He has 99 finesse move, 97 block shed. Those are like the key stats that make him great. He's 6'4", 258 as well. Just an amazing card, honestly. Next, we got Van Der Esch and Keekly. I'm not going to show you them because they don't see the field. Keekly, I'm going to upgrade him to a gold 99. Once his card gets cheaper, I get a Redux or not a Redux, but um, 
what do they call it? Uh, the, the, the power pass for the new season. So once he gets that, he'll have Cowboys Kim. And then we got 99 Micah Parsons, which this is the best pass rusher in the game, in my opinion. He has 98 speed, 99 finesse move, 93 block shot, and that's really all you need to know. Card's amazing, 90 power move as well. So, and also I think he has decent. Does he have z decent zone coverage? He has 82 zone, which it's not that great, but I mean, I mean it's something, right? It's definitely something. Next we got Cam Chancellor. He's been on the team all year. Y'all know his stats. 99s across the board, except for man coverage. Just an absolutely filthy card. They just, dude, that card is insane. Next, you got J. Ron Curse. If you did not, uh, if you didn't do the house rules for Easter, you messed not on a good card. Especially if you have a Cowboys team. This card is 6'4, 99 speed. Just absolute goon. He gets ac Acrobat for 1 AP. Literally 1 AP. 1 AP for Acrobat, which is insane. Definitely really good. Next, we got Gold Dion. Gold Dion, bro. Gold Dion Sanders. This is the best corner in the game. It's not even close. The only things that aren't 99 is jump and press. But guys, I try to tell people on stream all the time. The reason why this card is so good is none of these stats. All kinds of cards have 99 speed, 99 zone. And all kinds of cards have that. But what cards don't have is this, guys. Check out. 98 change of direction, first of all. That's insane. But 93 spec catch. I don't know if you see that all the way on the right. 93 spec catch makes it so he jumps and gets crazy animations for balls dude that card is really nasty like seriously bro Deion sanders best corner of the game is not close next we got our slot corner digs trayvon digs he's a little outdated i need him to get a new card because his press is kind of low but i don't know how much that even really matters but yeah 78 strength isn't the greatest either but trayvon Diggs still balls out for me and his card art looks fantastic. Next, we got Randy Gregory. The dude is just a speed rushing goon. 95 speed. Not the craziest speed towards the end of the year. Like, honestly, towards the end of the year, there's plenty of cards that have this kind of speed. It's not the greatest, but he's six foot six and he's just a he's a specimen. He left us for the Broncos, but you know it is what it is. Next we got Jay Ralph. This card will never see the field for me. And he's not very good. He has 74 speed. Not a good card. He won't see the field. He actually was subbed in on accident in one of my games of Weekend League, and he literally got a pick. So it was actually kind of crazy. Uh, this card is really bad too. 92 finesse move though, so that can kind of get the job done if you want to run a D-tackle maybe. Next, we have the best pass rusher on the team, maybe, besides, I don't know. He might be better than Parsons. 97 speed, 6 foot 9. Dude, 6 foot 9, 271. Just a freak. He's going to get a golden ticket at receiver. That's going to probably break the game. Next, we have Chris Westry. Now, he gets Acrobat for 1 AP, 1 AP as well. 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 man. That's all you need to know. 95 press. Just cracked. Um, he's six foot four, but unlike Dion, where's his spec catch? 76 spec catch, so not the greatest on the spec catch because I, I noticed that, that he doesn't get crazy animations like Dion, but that's the whole defense. Next, oh, we also have Jack Youngblood. He never sees the field, but... He's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. He's not bad. He's got 93 speed, 96 finesse. Like, he's not the worst card in the world. I'm not gonna lie. And then last but not least, we have special teams. We got a punter, Brian Anger. If you want to see his stats, I don't know why you would, but Bo, there you go. Brian Anger. And then last but not least, we have Nicholas Folk, the goon, the absolute goon of a kicker, 96 kick power. And that is the best pod. Guys, okay, so I will say this Keekly never sees the field. That could be a 99 overall. Um, besides that, honestly, guys, besides that, there is nothing. Like, you could get 99 Cooper, but without my wide receiver strat cards, you know, he's not going to have 99 speed. So this is the best possible Cowboys team team you can literally have if you're running every single player as a Cowboys player. This is the best possible team you could have. And if anybody says anything different, they're telling you a lie because this is the best team you can get. If you want to run all Cowboys, this is the tutorial. Here you go. This is what you need to do because this is the best possible. Almost all 99s on defense. I mean offense. And then defense. We're missing quite a few 99s. Missing probably like five. So we can maybe get a full 99 Cowboys theme team if they give us a couple cards. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I appreciate all y'all for coming by. Let me know what's your favorite team. Let me know uh, what theme team you're rocking. So, yeah, appreciate you guys. Y'all are all goaded. And peace, peace, peace.
Peace. All day stream tomorrow, by the way, Sunday. So yeah, tune in for that. Peace out, guys.